Now, the National International Trade Fair has entered day two today, providing a platform for exhibitions and networking that spur development in agriculture, trade and allied sectors in line with the national government's agenda on agriculture and trade. The one-week fair is expected to attract thousands of people with a shared vision. Sophia Ali is at the JK Watt stand and now joins us live with an update. Sophia, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Grace. Indeed, it's a beautiful day. It's very warm the day yesterday. We've been here since yesterday, and yesterday it started out all gloomy, but today we are seeing a little bit of sun, and we are very grateful for... We are looking at some of the things that are being featured here today, and most of the stands, obviously, being that it's an ASK, it's an agricultural show, we are looking at agriculture, and if, we, if you look at it, agriculture contributes about 33% uh, to the G GDP of this country, employing of a 40,000 uh, of this population, uh, 40,000 percentage of the population of this country. And today we are here at a GQ at stand, whereby in this year's, in this year's uh, theme of the ASK show, we are looking at uh, the innovation being the major part of it. And I am being joined by um, Mbugwa. Mbugwa is a community outreach at a GQ at, and he wants, to talk to, he wants to talk to us and walk us through some of the innovations that they have seen throughout the years and also this year, what's new? Mbugwa, how are you? Very fine, yes. and thank you, and welcome to KTA, I mean to JK Yes. We are here at the Nairobi show, where the university is trying to showcase a number of technologies, and especially in response to the theme of this year, which is uh, promoting climate smart and trade initiatives for sustainable economic growth. So that's why we have a whole host of uh, innovations that uh, the university has uh, developed through research and invention and uh, we are showcasing that to the public through our outreach program. Thank you. Okay, so we are standing here. Uh, perhaps before we continue, we see another executive member of the committee. Perhaps you can introduce yourself and maybe talk to us a little bit about this year's innovation and some of the things that you are undertaking as JQ. Thank you very much. My name is Professor Jonge, Francis Jonge. Uh, I'm the co-chair of the uh, show committee of JQ. And here we have come to show what the university is doing and especially uh, in terms of innovation, in terms of um, you know, smart, smart uh, agriculture for sustainable development. And we have a whole host of um, uh, activities we are showing, a lot of uh, products which we have developed. And uh, we have also added value to a lot of host of uh, commodities we have. Like for example, uh, the, the dragon fruit. The dragon fruit is now becoming one of the most expensive fruit and we have even gone a step further to actually develop add value and develop other products from it and therefore we are saying even in those drier areas this is a plant which can actually do well and then not just doing well in terms of the fruit but also doing some value addition which we have done and we are demonstrating the show and we would like uh, kenyans to take this you know so that we can actually develop in those areas where maybe uh, other crops cannot do but this is a good plant which we are showing. We have also another whole host of uh, value-added products. You know, we have snails, of course, which uh, we have another uh, whole host of uh, products which are derived from the snails. We also have cricket and cricket products, you know, like the cookies. And we are inviting the showgoers to come and even have a taste of, of some of these products we are having. Thank you. Well, um, some of the things that I have walked through the stand and I have seen crickets all my life. I fear crickets and the only thing I know about cr crickets is the, is the noise that it makes. It makes at night when I want to sleep and if the crickets are there, you cannot get much of a sleep. And also I have seen snails and I have seen uh, coconut husks. Obviously, see, these are some of the things that we ignore as Kenyans and see them as being a valueless product. In fact, when I see a cricket, the only thing I think is where is my slipper so that I can kill it. But, well, there is, every, there is a purpose in everything that we do in life. And let's talk about this innovation a little bit and maybe some other innovations that you have walked me through, including uh, making of laptops. We know we do a lot of importation of some of these gadgets from, you know, out of this country. And perhaps what is the importance of innovation especially to us as Kenyans and also the upcoming generation being that you are a university institutions thank you so much uh, innovation is a driver to economic and uh, industrial development eh? 
So we can't do without innovation. That means improvement. We want to do things better. We want to compete globally. We want to improve our products. And therefore, we have to innovate and make life easier, make agriculture more effective, improve productivity, improve efficiency, reduce costs, come up with better products and services, and do the things that we do always in a better and easier manner. So, for example, this tractor you see here, you know, it is formulated, you know, it has been uh, fabricated in the, with a partnership in Jomo Kenyatta and it's able to do multiple functions. It can, for example, open up roads in your farm and even in, uh, in the rural areas. It can also do all the other functions of a tractor, hitching, all the spraying, you know, plowing, uh, ATC. So that is, and we have many other equipment around here with us, which help. You have even seen others 3D printing, where we are, you know, using uh, recycled plastic to come up with products right on the, the way you print something out and you have seen some of the products we, we print. Yes, okay. so innovation is critical. If you want to improve livelihoods, you want to improve efficiency, you want to earn more, more productivity, yeah. more income, better Thank lives, you. innovation. Thank you. Thank you so much. Grace, as you see, there is a lot to be carried out. I mean, there is a lot for us to bring for you today, and we hope by the end of the day, we will have uh, compiled for you everything that you need to know in terms of innovation. Thank you so much, Grace. Back well, Sophie, I'm glad that there were no sleepers around and that you overcame your fear of crickets. Thank you, Sophia, for that. And that story by Sophia Ali takes us to a very short break on KTN News Desk. Don't go too far.